I'm still printing away on the any cubic Cobra 3 Max. Um, I did say I wasn't going to do another update until the official print head arrived, or the print head hub, but uh, I had to share this one with you. So yesterday I'm sat in my games room and my, my phone goes off and it says there's a filament jam and I'm thinking, oh great, another filament broke. So went in here to go and clear it and found something very interesting instead. The print head itself, this wheel had come off and the whole print head was hanging at an angle, um, jammed. And what had happened, this damn orange power cable that supposed to sit in these connections that they put on the side that put all the tubes through. Everyone, the official one and the one I printed, it works its way out of that eventually. It pops out, and that's what happened. It had popped out there. And then with the print head going back and forth, the print head had pulled some more of it. It came forward, and then with this bed coming back and forth, the orange cable had come down in front of the print bed. Print bed then snagged onto the orange cable. You can see the bit here where it's actually uh, tore plastic coating and of course that then pulled it forward which then pulled on that which then pulled the print head in this direction and then twisted it and pulled one of the wheels off the rail uh, thankfully there was no damage done uh, grabbed my hex wrench and slackened off the the bolts there popped it back on the rail everything slid smoothly and uh, it went back it did offer to reprint from where it was but I actually stopped it because it wasn't far in it was still printing a base like you see now uh, so I told it to restart and do a re-level because I've been messing around with the print head so and it took off and it finished print perfectly um, but yeah, so that was all for now. I've put an extra little slack tie there so that if this does fall, this will keep the power cable attached to the Bowden tubes uh, to stop it coming down where this thing can grab it. Um, now, some of the guys on the Anycubic help site have suggested something really useful, which is attaching a little lanyard to it, a retractable spring lanyard, put it onto the top rail, attach it to that cable and that makes sure that this lot stays elevated instead of hanging in, probably would help with the curve as well doing that. Um, so I'm going to get hold of one of them and probably give that a go because, yeah, that would certainly help, but watch your cable management and then watch this corner on your power cable. Uh, otherwise nasty things can happen. Thankfully uh, the machine recovered. Right, so another update. So I've just been out to the mailbox. It's Monday and it's the official Anycubic A-Port hub arrived. Um, so, yep, eight ports, two screws to fit it. Um, I'm probably going to wait till that thing goes horribly wrong before I swap them out because this one seems to be doing okay at the moment but as soon as it starts playing up I'll give the official one a go and see if uh, that helps at all. Uh, so yeah, thanks to Anakiri for that. If anyone needs to order one, hopefully that means that they're now back in stock. Uh, meanwhile, I've still printed off uh, some more of these uh, sporting blacks, so Aston Villa. Uh, Houston Dynamo, as they're going to make as a Dynamo fan. I mean, I like them. I feel like pretty good. And I'm doing the New Orleans Saints uh, one at the moment. Right. And everything seems to be working well. I hope it stays that way. Okay, bye.